They're apparently remaking Leprechaun again. So that's why I've been seeing it so, so frequently. That's, I mean, I think they're making it with the guy who used to play. Oh, when did that become a thing? When did we? When did baked potatoes become a thing in Minecraft? I don't know. Is that a thing? Yes, you can bake a potato. Oh, cool. So you didn't know about that either? No. Huh. Because I was trying to make rabbits too. Like, with that, well, that's the case. I'm not going to make rabbits too. I'm just going to eat fucking baked potatoes. The fuck? Martin, the fuck? Holly would say if she was here. Martin, the fuck? The fuck? Hey, Maggie. What are you going to do? So, boys, you found it. <laughs> hey, <Air Maggie. laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Like, it, like, I don't get why that voice is so funny, but that voice, that voice tickles okay. the shit out of me. I, 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 I want to, I will, who was watching those videos? There's two people that No. watching those videos. I thought, I, I, I'm seeing them and I just, I, I'm just like convinced it's you. I would tell you if it was me. Yeah, I know you would, but that's the problem. You're not saying it's you. And I still believe it's you. Because <laughs> I no. was perplexed as to who was watching us make that. make the fool. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're doing a whole lot of stupid on that with that game. We're doing a whole lot of stupid. We made that game playable. Like I don't care what anybody says. We made that game likable by doing that shit. I said, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna go take a shit. I had prune juice. Yes, prunes. They make your poop come out a lot easier. And I tell you what, I really needed help with that because my my poops were like little little coal mat rocks. Like you seen those Kingsford like like fire brisket starters? Yeah, that that's that's my poop. It's coming out all hard and scary. I I even hid some in my neighbor's uh, my, my my neighbor's barbecue grill. I could smell burning poop from from down the block. I uh, not my proudest moment. But I did it, and by God, I'd do it again. I think I, I think I've done enough. I think I think that's enough. Is that enough? I think I've done too much. Hmm. I'd be upset. But at the same time. If I'm if if what I if what I if I if what I think is right, I like I might be right. Uh, that just because you weren't raptured, it doesn't mean you're dim condemned to hell. Because what's supposed to happen is Jesus comes down. It's one of those things that when you listen to what people who believe in the Bible believe, it really does have this really strong like are you fucking serious vibe to it. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, it all comes off as a comic book. It's funny. Um, people, people, people say that. Uh, oh, there he is. There are people who will say uh, Eminem's album "Relapse" isn't good, and a lot of the people say, "Well, even he said it was bad." And all I can one, all I can think is, "Well, what the fuck do I care? Like, how does that?" How does that make it immediately bad because he said he didn't like it? Like, I'm pretty sure there are plenty of albums out there that he would say, like, I didn't really like that song or that album. So does that just immediately make it bad? Like, no. 
Wait, because to be fair, 90% of content creators hate everything they make. I am part of that 90-some percent. Cause I, I consistently tell you that everything we do is garbage. It is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the trashiest of all the trashes. I just, uh, I was like, yeah, but he said, like, oh no, that song, that one was garbage. Oh no, it was fun. I was like, and that's all I can say about that album is it's it's a fun listen. Because by all means, he thinks the stuff he's doing now is fantastic and I can't stand the sound of it. <laughs> and I think the issue I have with Eminem now is that he doesn't have fun anymore. Everything he does, it, it feels like he's doing it to, uh, yeah, yeah. to prove that he's the best or that he's really great at what he does. And it's like, yeah, you don't have to be the greatest. You don't. Like, it's not... It's always going to be subjective. Like, like yeah, you're, we get it. You're lyrical. But, like, when I wrote Where Your Phone At, when I wrote the verse to that, I realized, like, yeah, not everybody's not going to be lyrical. Like, screw this. Like, I'm. This, is, this was fun to write. Like, and I have fun reading this. So, what's wrong with that? Like, yeah, I'm not making, like, this extremely... Like, no. I wrote a song about a girl annoying a dude about where his phone was. And it sounds funny as hell to me. I showed you those lyrics, yeah? I know I did. And I wrote that so fucking fast. I don't think you did. No, I know I did. Want me to read it to you? Sure. Get up and go to church. Ooh. Okay, let me pause it. All of this is purely aesthetics. Though. It's my. You can do whatever you want to, bet. Okay, so I'm gonna sing you the song. I'm gonna sing you the verse too. Where your phone at? It, like I sent it to you. I know I did. Like I immediately sent it to you. Like after I wrote it, I was like. Oh wait, you did. You did. Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna sing it again anyway, because it's different yeah. hearing it from the from the the horse's lip lip face area. I don't know what words are or how to use them. I'm sorry. I was at my side whole house and I'm trying to go to sleep, but she all up in my ear, steady fucking with me. I'm like, damn, what you want? Why you all up on my neck? If you gonna keep me up, gonna break off that back. Where your phone at? Bitches in my pocket on the damn rocking chair. Wait the fuck over there. I hear the zzz, zzz, zzz. Yo, bitch, my think you lost. Let me go and get that shit so you can see what she want. Nah, nah, you good. Let that motherfucker buzz. Why why the hell you so sure what the fuck this shit was she got a pattern on your shit what you think i ain't know all you dogs think you slick when you creeping on the low first off notice i ain't creeping on shit because my girl already know she can't tame this dick she don't know where i am but she know i ain't home now girl i'm trying to sleep leave me the fuck alone where your phone at bitches in my pocket bitches in my pocket bitches in my pocket <laughs> I'm so happy I, I brought this back to your <laughs> This is what you were made for. Martin. This is this was the, this was my my goal in life was that <laughs> was to was to to realize gold where it could be. And when I read that to Jordan, he was like, "Ooh, yeah, that's that uh, that's that old that old Project Pat three six Mafia shit." I was like, "Yeah, boy." And he told me that uh, he feels like me and Patchy could totally make that song work. And I think that's the best I've uh, like recited it because I had I had it like memorized like by like the second time I read it out loud. Like I knew the words because it's so simple. Like and it's really slow and it doesn't require a lot of bars. It doesn't require a lot of breath. So it's a very simple verse. 
And I really think that it'd be a really fun song to, because I feel like it's one of those things like when you, it's like uh like Chicken Head or, or, or what's the other, what's one of the other songs about uh, Three Six Mafia? Baby Mama is my baby mama. Like there are people out there who totally understand like where it's coming from. It's like, yeah, boy, boy, right there, boy. Like it's not a song that's gonna like, like go hit the pop charts and just be fire off top. But there's gonna be a couple of people that hit that hear that song and be like, yeah, man, like that. I yeah, dog, I like that song. That song, that song right there, fire, bro. I was like, yeah, so I'm, uh, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I'm, I, to take <laughs> a little bit. I was, I was, I was mostly proud of it because of how fast I wrote it. And when I finished it, I sent it to Jordan. I was like, I've never wrote, written a verse so damn fast in my life. Never have I written a verse so quickly. Like the words just came, and I was like, yeah. It's like it was so simple. Like because it wasn't like because I wasn't trying to prove a point by by writing this. Like I wasn't trying exactly. to prove. It's just you were having fun. Yeah, and and uh, it made it so much easier. Uh, it, it did. It felt so fucking good. So yeah, hopefully. Because honestly, you do that all the time. You just don't ever like. I don't ever write it down. Make like, anything of it. Yeah, yeah. That's the sad part. It's like that's how I think that's why Apache was a. Uh, he asked me, "Do I like have I ever like tried to make instrumentals?" And I haven't. Like I remember one time that like long, like back when I first got my desktop and I had. We had moved over here. There's a song by this dude named Lil Fat, who I think is no longer alive. Rest in peace, dude. If you are dead, and if you, matter of fact, if you are living, live in peace. Um, because you don't have to die for people to wish you peace. In peace. Mm, step over quietly. This is not suicide. It's a revolutionary act. I still say to this day, I know way more about mo- mo- certain serial killers. And like cult leaders, then I should. <laughs> Do you feel rain or you roof? <laughs> like Charles Manson did that shit so fucking smooth and flawlessly. I can't for the life of me imagine like trying to memorize that gibberish and then like trying to recite it because it was so good. But yeah, where your phone at?